Okay, wow, I just left the uh, the broadcast uh, after that meltdown uh, of an early grief attack, and I didn't even go home yet. And I leave, I leave Denver on the 26th because I had to go back because I don't have enough money to... Uh, I won't have enough money to stay in Denver until September 3rd. And then I would probably would have gone to Galveston or Key West. But anyway, so right after right after that, I was looking through Facebook, tra la 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 along, and then what happened to happen, Steve? This is not from a romance scammer. Uh, this is from somebody that is so mad that... Uh, you know, she can't find a women man, man that she had to stereotype all men. And I had to read this post right after a romance, uh, sca- uh, not a romance game, but right after this, uh, right after a grief attack that I had. Her name was, and then I had to kick her out of her mansion. I had to, I had to evict her from Big D Country. And her name was Ellen Diaz. Uh, she was a princess who, who was in Big D Country. But then, Ellen Diaz was like this, and she did a um, uh, she did a post. I had no idea why she did that, but she said, "Men are like lottery tickets, very exciting at first until you scratch away the surface to reveal the loser, uh, the loser beneath, uh, the new loser, be- yeah, the loser beneath." Why the fuck would she say that? After I just had. A grief attack early over my wife, and I just tell you, I just told you the doctor, Doctor Renee, and I told you the uh, the uh, the chaplain. Although I didn't rename it, uh, remember the chaplain's name, but I always remember that doctor's name who ruined the rest of my forty nine years of existing on this planet. Ah! Now here comes Alan Diaz, who made the situation even worse. So it's bad enough that it's it's hot. And what 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 is the temperature now? Yeah, it's bad enough that it's hot, and it is what the hell t- temperature is? Yeah, it's bad enough as uh, ninety seven degrees, probably feeling like one hundred four. Okay, I can't get no money for for food, and then turn around. I gotta wait for tomorrow, and then turn around even though. I'm going to get help driving to the uh, the family dollar store up the street, but still, it's still going to be dangerous hot. But now I got to read that freaking message. I got to read that. I'll read it again. It says, men are like lottery tickets. Very exciting at first until you scratch away the, the surface to reveal the loser belief. Hello? I may have my problems, but I'm not a damn loser. But you made me just big feel like that right after I had a damn panic attack. Okay. I just want to make this perfectly clear. Ellen Diaz, A L, yeah, A L I E E N Diaz, is no longer a princess in Big D country. I repeat, after that comment. She is no longer a princess in Big D country. I may have my problems. I have severe depression, PTSD, and now that it's coming close to the anniversary, grief attack. And it's not my fault. None of this was my fault. I didn't. I, I didn't ask for this. I was supposed to be still be married to this freaking day. Okay. All right. So, this is a public eviction. Okay. This is a public eviction. All right. And I'm going to say this like this and man. But first, I'm going to do the public eviction and then I'm going to do the Vince man. Alan Diaz has been evicted from her palace. From her mansion in Big D Country. She is no longer a princess in Big D Country. And now here comes the Vince Man. Ellen Diaz! You're fired!